and its Santas dealt with the FARC all her life. She remembers the bomb attacks and the rebels passing through her parents' rural house. As a shop owner, she's had to pay a war tax to FARC every year. If you think she's brimming with excitement at the peace deal, think again. In the coming referendum, we'll vote against the deal. We don't want to hand over the country to FARC. Nobody knows what we suffered. We don't trust them nor the government. Janet's feelings are shared by many here in San Vicente del Caguan. Fifteen years ago, this was where negotiations failed between FARC and government leaders. The rebels were given a demilitarized zone the sides of Switzerland, but the talks collapsed as the war restarted. Today, much has changed in what was once known as the sanctuary for the rebels. It's a commercial center, crime is down, and the FARC has finally stopped to extort money. Mayor Humberto Sanchez of the conservative Center Democratic Party that opposes the talks was kidnapped by the FARC in 2006. In spite of the improvements, he says he understands why people are wary. I'm not against the peace process, but I'm worried that the group will not honor the agreement. During the process, they kept extorting and killing people. When you are in the peace process, you have to stop committing crimes. But if they comply with it, they'll have my support. Several hours away, but still in the town's huge municipality, the FARC did just that, fully ratifying the peace deal in their national conference. Se acabó la guerra. In town, others are more willing to forgive and give peace a chance. There's a major stigma associated with being here. When you say you are from San Vicente, people say you must be a rebel. I think this is the opportunity to change that, and I'm convinced it will bring investments and opportunities to our town. After decades of war, it's difficult for many to believe in reconciliation. But with a peace deal in place, the time might have finally come to start crossing the bridge to a normal life. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, San Vicente del Caguan.